Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and this is actually a combo set in 130 second scale. It copies movie aircraft scene with two aircraft, as you can see it's an English patient and we have here a Tiger Moth and Stearman and of course as I said they are molded in 130 second scale so you can copy them together by getting this one box. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so it will be interesting to check what is actually supplied in this box and why it might be a good opportunity to build both by planes. So first of all I have to say that box size is typical for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand. Kit number is 32053 and then on the side here we will find some information about the real aircraft and also some information about the kit. I can say that there are 95 parts for assembly of Tiger Moth and 92 parts for assembly of Stearman. And here on the opposite side you will find these two marking options which are depicted on the box art. I'm not sure if there are more markings included, we will see it further in the video review, but what I need to do now is to cut through this uh, plastic seals in order to be able to remove the top cover from this box. So just give me a second. It will take a bit of time And in the meantime, I can also remind you that you can support us with a small donation It's quite easy thing to do because uh, you can do it with help of big red button on our website or by subscribing here directly in the YouTube because all the profits will go directly to us and of course it will be helpful for some upgrades also for getting some interesting kits to be reviewed and maybe also you will be interested in some of the tires here on the YouTube because some of them actually offer you the free kits every month. So what I'm doing now I'm trying to open this box and this is a traditional ICM box so that's why it's a bit tricky to remove but just give me a second okay so here it is it's a top cover printed cover and then we have this sturdy white cardboard box i will open it in a second and here is what we have inside so all parts are packed into the same plastic bag and we will be checking them as usual one by one i mean all the frames and now we just need to move it aside okay as far as you can see each kit comes in the separate plastic bag as you remember parts count is not that huge and, and in my opinion it's actually a benefit for a 130 second scale because you won't be overwhelmed with huge amount of parts and here we start with a sprue which carries mix of various parts so you can see that here we get fuselage house and we also get the wing parts this kit might be familiar to you because it was released also as a solo release so here we get it as a part of the combo set and of course inside you will find some minor cockpit features we have all the guiding pins in the parts which are separated into two halves so no worries it should be easy to combine all this stuff together and I don't think you have any issues here whatsoever. Next, we continue with another plastic sprue. So here we have again mix of parts. And while you're checking it, I will try to lift one small sprue which fell down. Okay. Obviously it was a clear sprue, but now I have it in my hand. So here we have landing gear wheels. We have also parts for the roof, for this soft roof. And also we have parts for various struts for the landing gear and for the wings. Everything looks fine. Do not forget that we get also the engine here, which is really cool because it is supplied out of the box. So you don't have to get some aftermarket for that. And of course you can add more features both in cockpit and in the engine by getting some aftermarket P, which will look even better. So here we get the last gray plastic sprue for this kit so this one is dedicated to wing parts and as you can see it this uh, lower wing which should be glued out of two house i would say it's also traditional design so nothing unusual and as i said there was also a clear sprue so i just opened it and here it is here we have the windscreen parts and as you can see they look more or less fine it's just a matter of careful assembly and I hope that masking templates are actually included here because otherwise it will be quite a funny thing to mask. Now I'm opening another plastic bag, so just give me a second to open it. 
here we have parts for another aircraft as you remember so I will put it aside first of all we start with an engine sprue so here it is let's zoom in and now you can see what I'm talking about so here as well we get the engine included and again this is really cool because you will be able to expose it if you want even though manufacturer does not give you such an option but still it might be a wise idea to show that the engine is included and it's actually a nice engine to have out of the box Next we continue with Fizzowage House, so both are molded together with this landing gear struts, but note that the tail uh, fin is molded only on one. We have also nice uh, fabric surface imitation and if I flip it over here we have guiding pins and some internal structure as well. And I think it's really important because uh, all of this stuff will be visible, as you remember we have the open cockpits here. So it's a wise idea to work a bit on some weathering features or maybe on some P parts as I said before because it will be noticeable on the finished model. Next we continue with a bigger plastic sprue so here I will have to zoom out and as you can notice we have the wing parts, we have some cockpit parts, for example here you can see the cockpit subframes, here is another one. The pilot seats are molded as a single piece parts which is also cool but as far as I remember you can also upgrade them with help of P aftermarket P parts which will be even thinner but that's up to you because obviously this is an extra investment into the kit then maybe you are all right with what is supplied here out of the box and again here if I flip wing parts over you can see that we have guiding pins and it should be easy to align these large parts together. Next plastic sprue is dedicated to wing parts again as you remember we deal with biplanes here and I like the overall molding quality it looks fine and the parts division is also somewhat logical so there are no unpleasant surprises as far as you can see it's just a matter of careful assembly maybe if you can find the landing gear wheels made out of resin it might be a good idea to replace them because they will be a noticeable change on your model because it's a 130 second scale aircraft and here we have the clear parts so they were also packed into the separate plastic bag as you can see molding quality is really great but I'm not sure if we have the masking templates here so we will see it in the assembly manual but first as usual I would like to show you the decal sheet so this one is printed on one paper and here you can see all the necessary symbols we have also dials for the instrument panel and overall printing quality is really good I do not remember having any issues with ICM decals so I guess this one is not an exclusion from the rule and next we can move on to the assembly menu here I will have to close the lenses a bit so that you can see what I'm talking about so this is a color printed brochure we have short history note on the first page colors chart as well Next we continue with the parts map, so with the parts map as you can see a red cover means that these parts will not be used and assembly process starts with the tiger moth, so here you have to do some adjustments for example drill the holes for the um, for the rigging as far as you can see and it will have to be done on the fuselage so be ready for that and this is something what you cannot avoid so here we continue with the assembly of the fuselage you install the tail fin then we assemble the engine and we install it into the coating so as you can see manufacturer does not offer you an option to expose the engine and in my opinion it might be a good idea to think how to do it because it would be a shame to hide it under the cooling panels. Next steps again involve some drilling for the rigging. So pay attention to where you have to get the slots because otherwise it will be a tricky. The same applies to the top wing. As you can see a lot of rigging on this aircraft actually. And note that the rigging goes inside the assembly let's say if we can say it so. So there is no separate rigging scheme as far as you can see. So you have to pay attention on what you are doing or maybe you have to combine these um, steps all together if you will be doing rigging a bit later. So here we install the landing gear parts and next we continue with all the minor elements again some rigging there and also here we have the masks templates which is really cool next assembly manual is obviously for the steerman 
model 75 here we get parts map again and assembly process starts of course with the cockpit so we assemble it separately and then insert in between fuselage halves next we continue with the top fuselage cover, which is also good because you won't have any seams or gaps in this area. And also we start with the firewall. But as you remember here we also get a nicely detailed engine. I guess it will be assembled later. Because here we work on the tail surfaces and also on the wings. So the lower wing gets installed in place. We install the windscreens. We install or we assemble the top wing next. And what is here? So just give me a second. So next we uh, add the struts and then we install the exhaust stacks. Here we continue with an engine assembly. So as you can see a lot of things to be glued together but as a result you have a nice engine. And I think yeah it is visible on this aircraft so it's a good idea to spend some time on proper weathering and painting this part. And of course the marking guide. So we have only one marking option for the Tiger Moth and only one marking option the CEO for the Steerman. So that's the only combo you can copy out of the box. But as for the whole kit it should be already available and you can get it for example in Modelimax. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.